Well, folks, this is the story. The story of fishing, hunting, and camping is some of the most fun a guy could ask for. The story of heartbreak, success, and a lot of dinks in a very special place to my heart called the Ozarks. Well, folks, our journey today begins on a chilly Ozark morning in none other than Montauk State Park. After sleeping past the alarm and waking up to a brisk morning, coffee was the exact thing my body needed before I headed over to my favorite access to try my hand at the mighty current. Oh. Well, folks, just missed it. This had the first fish of the day pop off. Little rainbow in this run. He's a little stacker boy. It's all right. But good start. Oh, he didn't take. I thought he took my per. He came on the rainbow. Heard a gun. Well, guys, at this point, I honestly hate technology. Like, my GoPro has battery, but it's not working now. But got ourselves a nice, nice brown here. Look at this guy. That's just a beautiful Ozark brown trap. God, that makes me happy, man. It never, never gets old. Never gets old. Man, I just got to say something here. Like, look at this, guys. Just look at this view for a second. Oh, my gosh. River, green trees, and then the fog coming off the water. The sun. Golly, our, our creator is just so cool, guys. Like, this this cannot happen on accident. There's there's no way this happens on accident. Oh, man. This is beautiful. All right, as the sun keeps coming up, I think the fishing is going to get better. Fish will start warming up, too. So, let's keep fishing. This might be a good day. We caught two in about the first 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So, it could be a good day. Yes, there we go. A little butterball of the brown for you guys here. Oh, man. Golly, buddy, you're beautiful. And the browns are freaking on today, guys. Tell you what, my hands still aren't working, so I apologize for that, buddy. Beautiful, he kind of looks like a wild one to me with the colors on him. Golly, these are freaking beauties, guys. We're doing fun. I, th I think I'm starting to get kind of an idea where they're at, but that was on the CDC uh, red, I believe, Fertigaus. So, two thumbs up for that one. We can go whichever way you want, buddy. We can go whichever way you want. As long as you kind of be nice to me. Actually, I can't go that way. Okay, I guess I got a nice, nice, nice brown on here. He's not being very nice to me. He's just holding this position. He's like, I don't give a crap about what you're doing. I'm just staying here. That's all right, buddy, as long as you tire out at some point. Problem is, my leader is about at my eyelids. If it gets closer, that's going to break off. So... We're going to see. He's just holding his ground here. I'm, trying, I'm just keeping the rod tip high, keeping him pegged. It's a really nice brown. I thought I was hung up when I hooked him. Oh, no. No. That was a really nice brown, guys. Dang it. I don't know if you guys could see him on the film. He was really nice though. I don't know if I should have been more aggressive with him or what. Because he was just sitting here and I was just chilling with him. I thought he was going to be fine. Oh my gosh, guys. That was probably 15, 16. Really, really nice brown. That sucks. 
Dang it. I really did think I was hung up when I, I, I almost like took the hook out. I don't know if I should have gotten more aggressive with them or what, because I don't know. Because my tip or my leader was about through my eyelids. And if that happens, he was gonna break off. So I don't know, man. I hope we're gonna do another one somewhere. I know there's gotta be more around here, but there's not too many of that caliber. There's another one. Rainbow. Dang it, this one's not nearly as big. That's the last one. Sure is a beauty though. Oh yes, golly guys. That is a beautiful wild rainbow. I would have liked your friend that was in the same hole as you. But I'll still take you. I'll still take you. All right, folks, we're sending this guy back to where he belongs. He's ready. All right, folks, well, that's two in that run, but that first brown, oh my gosh, that was, I, I probably should have gotten more aggressive with him, honestly. I was just holding him there. I was just, but like, he wasn't gonna come in. And my, t my leader was almost through my rod tip. I knew if that happened, he was gonna come. It was probably gonna break off, so. Oh, that sucks, but that rainbow's nice. So, they're they're starting to eat. They're starting to turn on, so. Let's see if we can get some more. All right, guys, we're taking a much needed uh, snack break here, and just a little water break, a little rest on the bank here. Really, really juicy. We're gonna run in the hole up here. Um. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see what uh, what the rest of the day brings. It's about 9:50 right now, so I I scooted my way down here. I I skipped over a lot this morning, and I kind of didn't hit everything. So man, I'm still kicking myself about that one brown. That was a really nice brown. But I think there'll be more. Um, a kayaker just went past me, but no other fisherman had passed me. So unless they walked up from Parker's Ford, which is highly unlikely. We got the stream to ourselves this morning, so hopefully there'll be more of them that are, haven't been touched in a little bit. And, uh, yeah, and who are hungry. But beautiful day out. It's turning, it's like, I don't know, it's starting to warm up now. Probably 50s or so. I'm going to take my flannel off here in a little bit, but I'm freaking jacked. Should be a really good day. All right, folks, guys, got another little dimey dime brown here. Things are so pretty. that galley since you're just oh shoot beautiful fish okay okay buddy he's ready to go back all right that feels good it's been a uh been a second since i've gotten one here so i'm seeing a lot of fish they're just not really wanting the pertagon which is surprising but maybe it's heating up who knows we're doing pretty good on time. It's 10.30 right now, so yeah, this is great. All right, folks, it is just after 11 o'clock now. Just stopped on the shore for a while. Um, got some snacks, got some water. I'm gonna change up my rig a little bit. I'm gonna be throwing this honking daddy of a streamer, just like a little silver black. I don't even know, but I've heard streamers are on right now, springtime, big browns. This, it, might, it might be the time. I've never really thrown streamers before. I did catch a couple on the North Fork of the Light, um, yesterday, like on a streamer type deal, but I didn't like it too much, but I think I might catch a big one with this one. Knock on wood. I, I have a chance to catch a big one. So yeah, we're going to fish our way back up. We just turned around. So I'm getting tired, but it should be good. Should be, could be a lot of fun if we, no, I don't have as many bites, but it could be a lot of fun if we get a bite. All right, guys, like third cats with the streamer and this guy just absolutely munched that sucker oh my gosh he was hungry that is awesome holy cow guys this is freaking awesome oh he got himself unhooked perfect 
Look at this fish, guys. This is a beautiful, beautiful Ozark fish. Who is currently very angry at me. Look at that. That is a stunner. Just an absolute stunner of a fish, guys. That is freaking cool. That is freaking cool. Well, there he goes. He was angry about life. I was trying to get the release video for you guys, but that's okay. He needed to be back. Okay. That was like third cast with the streamer. So I may be a streamer guy now. I don't know. But that was pretty sweet. We're in this huge, like, deep hole. I could see some looking at it. I looked away and I just felt something. I saw him flashing down there. That was cool. Of course, I thought my day was over. But I just broke off my streamer and lost it. So I tied on the old uh, Klauser minnow, and what do you know, like third cast, this little brown T-bone's in. That was sweet. Hey, 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 hey. Holy crap, that was in there. Goodness gracious, these guys are gorgeous. Cannot get enough of them. Cannot get enough of them get him back Kano, here see you buddy that is so awesome on the streamer baby well folks if you could believe it we got yet a third fish in this same pool on the streamer this is it's actually pretty fun i'm not gonna not gonna lie Golly, he freaking crushed it. This is a nice little brown. This one looks pretty wild, though. He got some cool spots on him. Look at that. That is a beauty. Golly, this is freaking fun. This is, I, I, I couldn't ask for more than this, guys. On the streamer, this is actually, it's actually a lot of fun. Never really streamer fish before, like, at all. But I might start doing more now. Well, folks, this did end up being the apex of our day. With a couple more fly changes fishing upstream, and eventually changing back to the double nymph rig, I managed to nymph up a couple more little butter balls. After that, having more than my fa fair share of browns on the day, I headed back to the truck, reflecting on the trip, and excited to see my family. Well folks, if you weren't aware, this brings us to the end of our three-part video series on my trip. This trip turned out so much better than I could have ever asked for. The fishing was awesome, besides Barren Fork. The weather was really good, and the time of year was perfect. I'm so glad I decided to take this trip in the time between getting out of school and summer work starting. I will not soon forget this trip or the memories it has given me. That being said, if you made it this far in the video, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I know it's probably not easy to watch an inexperienced kid film himself talking, but I really hope you enjoy these as much as I enjoy making them. I've never really taken on a project or trip like this, so please let me know what you think. I love your input in the comments or even a DM on Instagram. Anyways, I think that's enough rambling for today. May the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you, and be gracious to you. Until next time, tight lines.